Hey, welcome back. I have another trade I'm gonna share with you that came across my system earlier, and I'm gonna point out a few things to help you in your trading. Specifically, one important aspect of option trading is understanding implied volatility. I'm gonna show you a little uh, nuance that can really help you or hurt you in trading options and focus on this trade here. Also, we're gonna talk about a trade that I covered last week where we went over one ticker, two trades, now, we went over one ticker, two trades, both winners. We're going to cover that in a second here. Before we do, I'm Joshua Bellinger of CounterVest. Make sure you like that button below. Hey, hammer that button. Come on, hammer it. <laughs> All right, so we're going to take a look here at General Mills. And General Mills here, we are looking at a price movement of, of uh, I, think, I think we talked about it last week around the 15th here. We've had about 4% to move higher. Now, how did, well, not how did I know, but what was a precursor that it was a possibility that shares were going to go higher? Well, we saw that activity in the October contract where they were being bought. Uh, I think in the video before, you can review it. They're coming in about $1.50-ish today. It's up about uh, uh, around $0.75, cents, $0.80-ish. Cents so $0.75, $0.75 cents on a $1.50 trade, that's pretty good, right? We also talked about the straddle that was uh, that we were talking about in the May, buying a straddle, when to buy a straddle. You're playing volatility expansion. Well, that 60 straddle that we talked about was also up on the day two, and I believe it was, uh, we buy the, buy the uh, 60 straddle, hold on. Yep, 60 straddle here was 358, so I believe this was around 290-ish uh, the previous day, but again, we got what we wanted here. Both trades win, depends on how you wanted to trade. If you weren't sure if prices were gonna go higher in that time frame, But if you notice here, we did see from that uh, 15th that volatility did increase. It did increase as expected. And that's exactly what we're looking for. That's why that straddle is working. Without that excessive price movement, uh, the straddle pricing increasing with both of those functions uh, behind it. So we're gonna talk about implied volatility again. Again, why it's important, because if volatility on your directional plays is not going in your direction, it's going against you, it is a tailwind that is going to affect you. So I'm going to cover this one here that came across the, the hot money system earlier. Hot money, right? Um, so TPX, this is a temper Sealy. I was actually surprised to see that it is really essentially almost at <laughs> new all-time highs. Uh, we look to the left of the chart here. It's at uh, $10 and all of a sudden it's at $40. I don't know what the heck's going on, but that's just kind of the market we're in. Now, if you're a technical trader, you see this and you see, okay, backed off. Now here we got a little bit of a wedge, probably gonna break out to new highs. That's technical traders, right? Hey, if you wanna use technicals first and then follow and then use order flow to emphasize or give you more conviction, you can do that. Never put order flow, option order flow first with conviction of technical analysis. I just don't think it works. I think if, you, uh, if you're following order flow, people are buying for a reason, not because of technicals, just because they think prices are gonna go higher for whatever reason it is. Now, if you're technicals and you see this and you see the flow or uh, order flow option activity behind it, well, I guess it is an extra uh, uh, tailwind for you. So the thing that came across the monitor earlier was in this May contract here. It was the May 40s. I believe that's what we're looking at here. Yeah, May, May 40s. Uh, the one thing I wanted to point out here is that they're buying these 10,000 contracts here and they're coming earlier. Uh, we could take, let's see if the order flow is still, the option activity on here is still there. So they're coming in at uh, the $1.69 ish. You see some of the bigger blocks at $1.55, even coming in at $1.95 here. So you look at the market here. Again, how, Josh, how do you know if they're being bought or sold? Simple. Look at the market. Market at the time, 190 or 170 by 195. Where do they come in at? 195. Probably bought, right? I mean, it, it really boils down to understanding just how the market is. Again, $1.30 by $1.55. Uh, we also see implied volatility increasing, which is a key component, but also a critical one to understand of how to structure trades and how to be successful. So understanding that if we go back and look at the overall, if we're looking at the bottom here, 
shift myself over here. And uh, we see here that this green line is the implied volatility. Well, right here, 419 to 421, it's increased from, uh, it's increased about five points here. That's a significant increase of five points in implied volatility. Now, I'm gonna, I could walk you through theoretical price here and how to do it, but if you just did the offsetting, just uh, kept the price the same here, and um, we just did five points of negative, and uh, we could see on the theoretical here that five points of implied volatility that comes out would leave a theoretical price if if pricing if the option pricing were the same a dollar sixty. So right now the market closed at one eighty by one eighty five. So that's twenty to twenty five cents of loss premium of a loss just on five percentage points. It doesn't sound like a lot, but you have to understand that that's part of option trading and you gotta be able to do it like that. That's that's how fast markets or how, how fast markets go. And you gotta be able to understand that and be able to look at it. That's probably some of the reason why we see that action in the 45, which I probably, if I looked at it, probably were sold to offset that. So again, you got an implied volatility of 46 here, uh, 46.57, and you got one that is five points out from that strike that's at 46 as well. So uh, logically, it would make sense. Uh, you're not, it's not a clean hedge of this, but to offset that, you would buy the 40, sell the 45. That's the trade I have for you. And that's implied volatility. Train's coming, gotta go.